Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. This is Kavya Manivannan. Today in this video, we are going to see OCI Renewal New Process. These are the steps we are going to cover in this video. The step 1 is New Process. Step 2 is Things to keep ready before you start filling the application. And step 3. Here, uh, to renew OCI, you need to upload applicant image and signature in specific format. I have shared how to edit images both in Mac and Windows. And step 4 is step by step process how to renew OCI quickly with sample filled form. This is step 1. Now let's see OCI renewal new process. The first step is in case issuance of new passport details. That is each time a new passport is issued up to 20 years of age and once after completing 50 years of age or in case change in address occupation or contact details we need to renew OCI this is up to 20 years in case of issuance of new passport that is once a new passport is issued after completing 20 years of age or in case of change of personal particulars that is name, father's name, nationality etc. Or in case of loss or damage of OCI registration certificate, we need to file OCI renewal process. This page will give you a better understanding of what we are going to do. The new government notification requirements. OCI card holders 20 years of age or younger must upload copies of their new passports with recent passport site photographs to the OCI online portal each time a new passport is issued and once after reaching 50 years of age. These are the other categories for which you need to renew OCI under new process. If you fall under other categories, you can go through these. I am going to share one of the most important tip in here. If you want to save time, please don't start the application if the following things are not ready with you. These are the things that you have to keep ready before filing the application. First thing is, applicant's image and applicant's signature image should be in the format of JPEG or JPG. Applicant's image and applicant's signature image size should not be larger than 500 KB. Applicant's image should have aspect ratio of 1 is to 1. Likewise, applicant's signature image should have height and width ratio of 1 is to 3. In this video, I have shared how to crop an image in Windows Paint 2D or Mac OS preview softwares. Other information that you should keep handy before filing the applications are First thing is applicants that is minor old passport number Next new passport number Then OCI reference number Finally scanned copies of non-blank pages of applicants new passport In the form of PDF file and its size should be less than 1000 KB now we are in third step. Go to Google and type VFS Global and click first link that appears. This is VFS Global page. Here you will find so many tabs. In that click Visa, E-Visa and Permits tab. Here you are going to select the country where you are applying from. I am going to select United States of America. Next, where you are going, I am selecting India. Then click take me to the website button. This is VFS Global Services page. Here you will find many things like home, passport services, OCA services, etc. You have to click value added services. Scroll down the page. Here you will find required standard for photograph. Click the link. You can take photograph in Walmart or CVS. Please make sure to get digital image of your photograph. They will charge additionally $6. If you are using your own camera, 
then you have to uh, follow these instructions like photograph size should be 2 cross 2 inches photo print should be clear top quality full face then full head photo should be taken in plain white background without any distractions shadows on the background photograph should be taken in colored attire for example uh, blue color shirt etc uh, likewise the attire should not be pattern textured or pure white in color now do's and don'ts for a proper photo there should not be distracting background not center background the correct orientation is very important next lightning on face and background like shadows in the background the photo should be taken in the correct lighting then photograph print property it should not be distracting not centered or um, torn a correct orientation is very important the image should be in a, a high resolution uh, then color and contrast you should look straight into the lens then you should not have hair across your eyes and your eyes should be wide open then you should not wear any um, dark tinted glasses or uh, reflected glasses and you should not cover your face your face should be fully visible if you are taking a photograph of your kid please make sure they stand at the center and they should not have any toys with them and their mouth should be closed as we have already discussed these are the criteria to edit um, applicant's image and applicant signature now we are going to see uh, how to edit image and signature using mac os and windows in mac preview software uh, click markup under the menu uh, select rectangular selection now we are going to crop the image the aspect ratio for image is 1 is to 1 so i am going to select it like 599 599 so that it will be in square once you are done with the selection you can click um, crop button or command k to crop the image Like I said before, the image should be in the format of JPEG or JPG. To change the format, uh, you can select File, Export. Here, you can change the file format. The file size for image and a signature together should be less than 500 KB. Now I am going to reduce the file size to 18 KB. Then click save. Now we have successfully uh, cropped the applicant image. Follow the same procedure to crop uh, signature as well. First rotate the signature. Then uh, click markup rectangular selection and crop your signature. To crop the applicant signature, follow the same procedure as before. The height and width ratio for signature is 1 is to 3. So, I am selecting 500 over 1500. Then, select a crop icon or click command K button to crop the image. Once it is done, change the file format to JPEG or JPG like before. And don't forget to uh, reduce the size so that um, size of the image as well as signature together should be less than 500 KB. Once it is done, uh, click save button to save the image. So far we have seen how to crop the applicant's image and signature using MacBook preview. Now we are going to see uh, how to crop image using Windows 10 Paint 2D. Select canvas and then uh, click crop icon and then uh, select image that you need to crop the height and width ratio should be in the form of 1 is to 3 uh, like 500 over 1500 you can select height and width yourself then it is okay 
or else click crop icon and enter manually with as 1500 and height as 500. Once it is done, then the image will shrink automatically to the selected ratio. Now we are going to see how to fill OCI form. Search for OCI services and select OCI link. Then click close. This is the OCI services page. Click here to proceed. Then select OCI miscellaneous services. We have discussed all these points in the beginning of the video. If you want, please have a look. Now select proceed. Now go through all these points and select the checkbox and click accept button. Fill the captcha and then click enter button. In this page you can see two options. If you are going to fill new application click this button else going to complete partially filled application click that button. Now I am going to click new application. Here. You have to provide your old passport number. Fill any one of the following field. I am going to give OCI number. Enter date of birth in this field. Then click proceed. Once you provide all your information, applicant's detail will be automatically pulled here. If you want to change your email address, you can do it. Services for reissuance of OCI, you can select any one of the options. Services for update of information in OCI, I am going to select Sport Particulars Updation. Then click Next. In this page, leave these two fields as it is. Then start filling your new passport details. That is, latest passport number, issue place and issue date. You have to provide your address and occupation details. First, give your residential address, then phone number and select occupation as others and occupation details as minor. Finally, provide the reason for availing the services as updation of passport details and address for minor. Then click submit. Please make note of your file reference number and temporary application ID. This will be helpful to you when you are going to complete partially filled application. Since we have applicant's image, applicant's signature image ready, you can straight away click yes I am ready with the image button. Then click choose file uh, to upload your images. Once you done it, you will get a message saying that applicant photo which you have selected is per instruction. If you want to crop, you can crop the image. Then you can click upload button. We have uh, successfully registered for part A and also uploaded applicant's photo and signature. Then you have to select any one of the following options. I am going to select I have uploaded successfully button. Once we have completed part A, we have to fill part B. Click proceed to part B button. Here we will be filling other information and will upload our new passport in .pdf format and its size should be less than 1000 KB. In this page we are going to fill other details of applicant. The first information that we are going to fill is any member of your family applied for OCI registration earlier. Since we are applying for renewal, you have to click yes. Then enter your name and mention it as self. Then fill reference number. It will be in your previous OCI card and date when you applied, place where you applied and its status whether it is granted or not. Likewise, you have to read all the following question properly and have to uh, fill the information appropriately. Then you have to fill present nationality details. Other details, if any relative staying in India, if yes, you have to provide their details. If you have any criminal proceeding, you have to give yes or no. Then click submit button. Here we are going to upload our new passport details. Click upload documents. 
Select Current Passport and then click Upload button. Here, the document size should be less than 1000 KB and its format should be in the form of PDF. Choose the file to be uploaded and then click Upload. You will receive a message saying that you have successfully completed the process. Now you can click Final Submit button. Once it is done, you will receive a mail to your email ID that you have provided before. Hope you like this video. Let's meet in our next video. Until, bye-bye.